Hello, I'm Juanita Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. We begin with a look at groundbreaking research underway here in California, which may one day help to improve our understanding of autism spectrum disorders and even pave the way for possible cures. Today, you'll meet a Valley family taking part in this incredible study. The Lopez family of Visalia has traveled to the Mine Institute at the UC Davis Health System in Sacramento. Three-year-old Anthony and his parents are taking part in a very important study on autism. His mom, Raquel, says he was diagnosed at two years old, but the sign surfaced when he was about 12 months. It was about when he turned a year, because before that, things were pretty normal. I mean, he crawled, walked, said mama, dada, he stopped talking, um, kind of started doing things not normal, and um, that was the red flags. But I think the biggest one was um, the not talking. It totally stopped. Children on the autism spectrum may have significant social, communication, and behavioral challenges. While there are treatments for autism, there is no single known cause or cure. Living with autism can be difficult for families, especially since this disorder has been baffling professionals for many years. So when Paul and Raquel were told about the groundbreaking research taking place at the Mind Institute, they were definitely interested in learning more, not just for Anthony, but his younger brother as well. Two-year-old Elijah may also have autism. So we called them to get a little more information and it sounded just like an awesome program to be a part of. Something just to get a little more information on autism itself because when he first got diagnosed, we didn't know nothing about autism. We have not never even heard the word of autism until this and then we figured why not learn more about it. The Autism Phenome Project, or APP, will include about 1,800 children two to three and a half years of age. It is described as the largest and most comprehensive assessment of children with autism ever attempted. Project manager Dr. Luran Barnett explains a phenome is a physical characteristic, something you can see. So the size of the head might be a different kind of phenotype. There are some children whose brains tend to develop much quicker than others, and so their brain size is much bigger. Um, so you might have a group that has very large brains or, and a group that has very small brains, and then some that have just normal brains. And so if you're studying a group that has all of those different groups in it, it becomes much more confusing unless you separate them into different groups. Researchers believe that identifying autistic children with similar physical characteristics will be helpful to their work. More than 52 Mine Institute scientists from eight research areas will manage specific aspects of the project. We will do a complete behavioral workup, a complete medical workup, um, an MRI, which looks at the brain, a specialized EEG, which looks at how the brain functions, um, immunology, genetics, uh, genomics. How this differs from other studies is that most other studies don't look at all of these things. Participation in the study takes quite a time commitment from families, about four to six visits to the Mind Institute. But the benefits are that they understand their child much better. They have done great things for us. Every time we come down, uh, they've done a series of different testings. Um, they give us the results for the testing and to see where Anthony's at, you know, in, a, in a, his age level. And with him being introduced to other people and being around other people, it helps him come out of his shell instead of just being secluded at home by himself. And the project, I mean, it's just offered us so many answers or suggestions to help my son with his autism. We provide them with a letter of information about their child uh, as part of the behavioral assessment. Um, many of these children have never had an MRI performed of their brain, so we provide them with a copy of the MRI. Um, and we also have a pediatric neurologist read all of our MRIs, just in case there's something there that we would be concerned about. So we provide them with that neurological report to their physician if they're interested in receiving that. 
Of course, it's beneficial for families taking part, but on a grand scale, it will mean a lot to many other families in the future. The study offers hope for improving diagnosis and treatments, and maybe even ways to prevent and cure autism. We may be able to prevent new cases of autism if we're able to identify a causative agent. Um, we will also be able to understand different kinds of treatments that might work with a particular kind of autism. Already there have been some exciting outcomes. The expected outcome is that we would identify several different kinds of autism. As it is, our data is already showing that we have different areas of different sizes of different portions of the brain. Uh, we also are seeing that there's some different immunological profiles and different responses to sound. Dr. Barnett invites families to participate and says this phase of the study will end in the year 2012. And as they pave the way for others in their journey with autism, the Lopez family is dedicated to the project and optimistic about the outcomes. Parents with autism, we need an answer. We need to find out where this is coming from and this research is all part of it, you know, and to travel is not a big thing for us because it's, in the end we're trying to find out for the boys where this is coming from. If you would like to learn more about the research study at the Mind Institute, call 916-703-0410 or go to valleypbs.org and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. We will have web links for you. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.